Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe and like button and let's get started. So I'm gonna use the Wanderlust palette from Profusion and I'm gonna take this like yellowy shade and this is just going to cover up with the concealer that I already have on my eyes. I always put concealer on just like as my base. So there's really nothing to it. This just sets everything in place. Then I'm just gonna go in with this warm camel -y color and that's just going to basically go all the way up to my brow bone, maybe just leaving like a little tiny bit of space at my brow bone just so that I have enough room to put a little highlight to carve out that brow. And I'm just going to buff it all in there. Then I'm gonna take this like navy navy blue color and this is a matte color there's no shimmer I'm gonna take this like pointer brush and I'm just going to stamp it onto the outer corner of my eyes and I'm just gonna go little by little and then I'm just going to start bringing Yay! it out into my eyebrow say hi Sophia <laughs> and then I'm gonna take another brush and this has a little bit more bristles and this is just going to start buffing it out and kind of just like moving it around a little bit diffusing it so it's not just like one big blue circle if that makes sense and then I'm going to start buffing it into the transition brown camel -y color then I'm gonna take a little concealer and a flat brush and I'm not doing a big like um, what are the cut crease or anything like that I'm just laying this down because I'm not sure how this shimmery shade is going to go on the lid so I'm taking this color right here it's um, a little bit brighter than the dark blue and there's like hints of teal in it but it's still pretty dark when you lay it on the lid and you can see I'm like going kind of like easy with it because I never used it before but it seems to be laying pretty good on the concealer I'm mad about it it looks pretty good I thought it would be a little bit darker but that's okay no big deal I did want that inner corner like area pretty bright so then I'm gonna take this teal shade which is so pretty well it's not teal it's like a bright blue I don't know <laughs> you call it what you will and I'm just gonna put that all over where I put that other color on my lid and I'm going to kind of buff the navy blue and what I'm putting on together with a different brush that has just like um, more bristles, a little more fluffier, just so that they kind of mesh together nicely and it's not just so harsh of a line. It's just nice and blended and diffused and it looks really pretty. This is something I wouldn't typically do, but I just wanted to switch it up and do something fun and colorful. I'm gonna take the Deca Scarlet glitter because this glitter is just incredible and it is drugstore price. And I'm just going to push that in because this is so pigmented and there's so much sparkles. I didn't want the sparkles to take away from the blue. So I'm just patting a little bit and then using my finger and patting the sparkles in and just kind of moving it around. Then I'm gonna take the CoverGirl True Blend. I love this. This is like one of my favorite drugstore um, foundations. And then I'm gonna take the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, or I think it is, I don't know. I'll link it below, but I'm gonna use that as my concealer. And I just fed this up because I really conceal and do all that kind of stuff the same, to be honest with you. And then I'm just gonna take my Beauty Blender spongy thing, and I'm just going to basically push that all into my skin. I really like this concealer because it's nice and lightweight. Um, it gives good coverage, but it's not like heavy and oily, which I'm into. Um, so yeah, I definitely like it. Then I'm going to take the Profusion Highlight Palette. I'm going to use the peach shade and the yellow shade and just kind of set where I put all of that concealer. And I'm not going to move my brush around. I'm literally just like stamp it, stamping it into my skin. And then we use this like light brown. I kind of used all three to mix them together. And um, it gave me like a nice little warm tan contour. I just really want to warm up my face so I don't look so pale. And that will give more depth to my face. And I'm just kind of bringing it around in that three shape. I'm sure you have seen it a million times. And then I'm going to take that camel color and I'm just going to buff that <laughs> underneath my eye and I'm going to use like a blending brush. And here I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm going to use that matte navy blue again and I'm just going to go halfway and I'm just going to smudge it onto my under eye and then I'm going to bring it out to that wing just so that it doesn't look so sharp. I want it to look a little bit more smoky and sexy if you feel me. And then I'm going to take a, another blending brush and just kind of blend them all together. I want it just to look smoky and not so perfect, if that makes sense. I'm going to take my Go Glam, my favorite lashes, you know, Salon Perfect, find them at Walmart, super cheap. Spray my face with a little Revlon setting spray, and I couldn't believe how good this highlighter, wait for it, wait for it, 
bling bling bitches it is so nice I was like damn I liked it I felt good about it my husband was like bitch you are glowing he wasn't a fan but he doesn't understand you know then I'm gonna put a little underneath my brow bone a little bit on my nose kind of basically put it everywhere just because I felt like I could do that because obviously this is not a natural look then I'm gonna take the covergirl matte lipstick I like it this is a nude I believe I hope you guys like this look it's something I wouldn't typically do but I'm feeling it I love you guys and don't forget to subscribe